Okay, good morning guys. It's around 8 a.m. or so. Um, we are getting these rooms set up. Um, we're gonna spray out closets and ceilings today. Um, and then we can start, you know, prep and patch work and all the nail holes. And seems like, seems like someone came through here with a, a nail gun, machine gun, and put a lot of holes. But I figure we'll walk these and let you kind of see what I see. Um, I'll try not to shake the camera too much. Okay, so like these guys right here, I mean, you can you can hear it. That's how dry that is. And then, of course, this. This would entail sanding with a shot vac. Not a sander, but by hand with my little shot vac to get all the dust. And then we'd put a coat, and then we'd steel wool it, and then we'd put another coat and walk away. So, I mean, there's like this sill, I would suggest all of that sill. This door, I mean, if you look at this door, it's, it's seen better days as has the jam here that we just covered, unfortunately. But I mean, if you look at this jam as well, I mean, this guy here, this looks like an exterior jam, probably kids room, you know, um, it's just dry. Obviously we already know these three. Um, this we already know. Um, I've already started sanding on that one just to see, cause that's pretty deep. Some of those water stones are pretty deep. Um, like this guy right here, some pretty deep stuff in there. We're have, gonna have to manipulate that. And then this guy over here gets that sunset, so it is as well. So, so far, um, all these, this door, this one. Um, so the closet doors are what I did not look at um, because we weren't kind of looking at that. So we put the closet doors, we took them off and put them away. So I'll have to look at them, but in the scope of things, if the closet, you know what I mean? If we're doing every door in here at one time, it would probably just behoove us to do those closet doors. You're usually looking at about $30 a door. So it's kind of like, should we wait on those or what have you? But so this jam is obviously the same way. It's just dry. Basically what we do is just we take off the hardware. Um, we come through, we put a little bit of masking paper down after everything else is done. And uh, we lightly sand and uh, suck it up with a uh, with a shot back and we kind of go from there and then this these guys in here as well and this one this one's pretty bad too this side of the house normally did not appear to be that bad but you just got a couple of these guys that are and then i've got this right here too so we're going to be addressing this this has nothing to do with the woodwork this is how we do closets uh here's what, with all the baseboards in um, what i like to do as well is we caulk in i know a lot of guys don't because it's a closet but we caulk in all those cracks and stuff in here. So those cracks aren't there, so just so you know. Um, so this right here, so you got pretty good water deal. So hopefully that's just an old one. We're gonna put primer on it and paint it. Um, but hopefully that's just an old watermark. Hopefully that's not new or anything like that. So, um, okay, um, yeah. So again, just, you can hear them. It's just dry. There's no, whatchamacallit in here, there's just this one. Uh, cabinets are definitely dry. And you can see that from on the camera. So on the stuff on this, the, one of the ways to kind of help save time and money on some of this stuff, because cabinet jobs can get expensive, but we don't have to do a full cabinet job. We're just doing a light sand. My suggestion would be um, we do the outside of the boxes. Like this is the box, this whole thing, and that's the box. We do the outside and we go to this corner on them. There's no need to have us get inside and do the detail. And we do both sides of the door. But there's no need to have us do um, the, the entire inside of these things. They're in good shape. Save your money. Um, you know what I mean? There's no need to have us try to get in the middle of all those. But the doors, like this one right here is so dry. It's like flaky. Look at that. So, um, so doors in this guy would be entailed. Those are cabinets. Um, so this guy here, um, I would probably say we run, oh, look at that this morning. I would say we run, uh, we'll, we'll run this one anyway. It's a trim piece, so we usually don't do it, but I don't know. You might be able, my, my thing on these stairs is maybe it's not too bad, except for they oversprayed here. Seriously? God, these guys, man. They oversprayed everything in here. Um, 
But usually I just do like the tops of these unless they really need it. I mean, I can give a separate line quote. That window does need it there. And as do the big ones. They're really dry on the tops, on the, on the, on the top part of the bottom of that window. Um, so I'll just give a line item on this and you guys can decide. I mean, we don't mind running the top of it. I won't even charge you. If we're already doing that, I'll run this top. It's not a big deal. Uh, we already saw these yesterday. We did get a good coat on these and they're a lot better. Um, uh, but we didn't do all of them. We just kind of started doing the coats on the bottom. So this guy, I'm going to turn your living room into a workplace. Uh, and these guys are the big ones, kind of the pains. Everything else in here is obviously done. But uh, so we've got these, these, um, and then you've got a set of doors down here too. Uh, so door, obviously this door and then the outside, we'll just put a coat on the inside and we'll put a heavy spar on the outside. Obviously those windows, these guys too, I'm going to turn this heater down to 55 so we don't have any air moving around. Um, obviously these guys. And these guys, we put a coat on this one yesterday, but, um, these guys, and then you've got this jam, this door, and these cabinets. Um, yeah, it's basically the same cabinet, just switch downstairs. Probably be a good thing to get at too, before bathrooms and toilets are put back in. Um, and kind of get on that. I don't like, oh, we didn't do that. Oh, I was like, yeah, why did my guys leave a gap on those baseboards? Oh, we didn't do those baseboards. Um, so this room, obviously stuff like that will kind of disappear. We'll kind of get in on all this stuff. Um, yeah, so I mean, it's in a perfect world, it would be something that, you know, probably take a guy, I don't know. Oh yeah, this guy's kind of tore up through there. These window sills, it's obvious, these are. Um, and then you got your three doors, three jams. In here, you don't really have anything in here, obviously, um, except for the pocket, and then these guys. Um, so I, I can just line item it all out if it's something you wanna do. If none of it you, you wanna do or you wanna wait, that's okay too. So we're not upselling you. Um, but we are here, and it's usually cheaper to have us uh, come and do this work. And if we're already here doing stuff, it's usually a lot cheaper than it is to call us and we show up and do it in our pile of shoes. Um, our feet always hurt after the week of working inside the first week because our feet aren't used to being barefoot. But um, So, yeah, you know, I don't know if the stair work needs it. Uh, it, it looks pretty good. Um, so that would be something it would all have to be done by hand. I don't like to spray this stuff So, you know, it would push us back into next week, obviously, but I don't see it, you know, being too much But I'll line item it all out and uh, I'll send it um, I'll send it this evening, you know, probably just be one or possibly two guys um, for two or three days um, And then just the just the cleaning aspect too. we got to make sure Obviously to contain dust and so forth. So I'm getting near nine minutes on this video of boringness. So um, I'll return to what we're doing. I'll send another video here at the end of the day as well. Um, and we can kind of look at that and uh, we can go from there. So thank you guys. And that's what I see on the whole deal. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys this afternoon.